Hey everybody, it is me, Knight, and as you can plainly see just by the title, but this as well, I have the Loot Gaming Box. Yes, indeed, I have not opened it, I just got it, and uh, I don't remember what it was all about. I do remember there was an Overwatch item in it, or something of Overwatch-ness. It's all I remember. But I'm recording this on Halloween Day, you should have already gotten up uploaded of the Loot Anime? Today uh, I open load, I uploaded this just before I got this because um, I didn't know if I was gonna get this today or tomorrow. So yeah, we're doing it on the same day. So um, let's get cracking. I know that this one didn't have really any horror themes going for it. At least I don't remember seeing any games that had horror theme to it. Which you would think there'd be something like Resident Evil or something like that in there, but there is. At least I don't remember, but I do know there was Overwatch. So. Um, because that was like the main selling point for this month. So let's see. The Loot Gaming. Oh, crap. Now, here's the Overwatch item. As you can see, it is indeed Reaper. There's one little small thing about it, though. Unless this is a different color, which could be. It doesn't look like there's anything special about it. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is, I believe I already have this Reaper. And it's sitting in my living room. So, yeah. There just doesn't seem anything special about it. It looks exactly like the same one I bought. Um, alright. I'm not mad, because can two things. One, Reaper is indeed my favorite of the Overwatch characters. Um, I don't play him as much, because my second favorite is, um... Hanzo, I actually started to get used to him, but uh, Reaper is the one I get more. I have the most game pl play with, and I have the most kills with. So yeah, a little disappointed that I got this a second time though, because I know I bought the first one quite a long time ago. But unless this is a special variant of it, which I don't think it is, it doesn't have a sticker that shows it's exclusive or anything. So, it just looks to be the normal one. Um, we'll find out when we get to the little pamphlet in there. But otherwise, if you haven't gotten it, hey, it's a nice one. Um, so, I'm not too mad. It is my favorite character, so that's that's the big bonus to it. Um, is this a magnet? It looks to be like a magnet. Um, it, I'm guessing it's a magnet. Um, if not, it is... Definitely a uh, Super Mario. <laughs> it's from Super Mario Brothers 2, the new Super Mario Brothers 2. But it's Mario. <laughs> um, not complaining. Hey, I like Mario. Good childhood right there. Um, what we got over here? Oh, we got some more stuff in here. I'll get to in a moment. Uh, we have a shirt of what is this? Titanfall. Yeah, it is Titanfall 2, and it's in... Damn, this shirt's really good quality. Um, yeah, Titanfall 2. It looks badass, I have to admit. Um, I have never played the first Titanfall. Why? Well, never got it, first off. Secondly, I didn't have an Xbox One when it came out. And I didn't really want to play the PC version. And I don't think it ever came on PlayStation 4. And, yeah, it just wasn't a thing for me. That's pretty much my reasoning. I didn't have very much other reasonings to go with. Uh, we... Socks? Oh, these are Legend of Zelda socks! Well, specifically of Ganondorf, but... Yeah. Ganondorf. Um... I'm not mad. I like Zelda. Um... Zelda games are one of my... It's my favorite franchise of all time. And the only thing that's second to that is World of Warcraft, so... And the only reason World of Warcraft's up that high is because of its lore. I do love its lore. But same as Zelda. Zelda's is better um, to me. So, yeah, it's of Ganondorf, I believe, from Wind Waker. That's what it looks like to be. So, yeah, it's not too bad. I like that. Um, we have Pac-Man Band-Aids. Or bandages. Yeah, Pac-Man. These only cost a dollar. As it can apparently say on the box. 
a dollar. That, that, okay. Very cheap. We got another set of socks, this time of Sonic, which is kind of funny considering I already just recently got Sonic socks. So these ones are of Robotnik saying game over. With the Robotnik symbol on them and everything. These, I believe these are socks or are these gloves. I can't tell with these glasses on. I think they're gloves actually now that I look at them. Um, yeah. They are gloves, actually. Now that I think about it, I'm sorry. I, I can't see with these glasses in the middle of this dark room. That's why the light's on for you guys. Because it was dark in here. But yeah, these are gla gloveless. Holy shit. Okay. You know, I've always wanted one of these type of gloves. Never had fingerless gloves. This is playing a pain in the ass to open. Let me take the plastic out, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Totally appreciate it. There we go. So, this one goes over here, I assume. Okay, that's a weird tag. Yeah, all right. I like it. I like it. I dig it. All right. Um, yes. Yeah, so they are gloves. So they they look like socks at first from my perspective. I am sorry. I I did not notice what they were until I got a closer look or took off my glasses. I should not be wearing my sunglasses at night. It's almost dark time and it's gonna be Halloween. Um, get the pen. Pin says, okay, okay, this theme was called Rumble. So, the pin looks like this. It has a versus symbol on it. It looks like two boxing gloves to me. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, so. Okay. I'll show you the inside of the box. We get a poster. See, now, they're doing the poster thing. And I'm not mad about that. So. Here is what it is. It's pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. So what did we get? Alright, so. We have the Overwatch Reaper Funko Pop. Um, we have the Rumble Coin. We have the Dr. Eggman, or my preferred name is Dr. Robotnik. We just call him Eggman because he looks like an egg. Uh, fingerless gloves, which I'm digging. Um, Titanfall shirt, Ganondorf socks, and Super Mario Brothers magnet. You had a chance of winning the swag epic drop, which was the Seal Series Super Swag drop, which gave you a mouse, headphones, a mouse pad, and a keyboard. Um, so it was an Art Artis five headset, M500 keyboard, uh, Rival 300 mouse, and quick, um, Q... I think it says quick, just as, because it's abbreviated without the U and I in it. Um, plus, mouse pad. And then the contest ends if you do rumble in the box um, to win a Wii U console set. The Super Smash Bros. So overall, it's not a bad crate. This is actually much better than the anime one, now that I think about it. Um, set that right there. And the inside of the box, minus this piece of cardboard that somehow fell, fell back. It is die, die, die. That's Reaper. I'm not going to lie. That is all Reaper, and I love this box for it. So... Out of everything, the most disappointing item was the Funko Pop, because I already have it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be that disappointing to me. Um, in fact, it'd probably be my favorite item. Uh, and I'm not saying it's a bad item, it's, it's Funko. If you like Funkos, you're going to collect them. Um, my favorite item right now, though, with based on everything we got here, well, uh, besides uh, the obvious Funko Pop here, this is the most expensive, it looks like, besides the shirt. Um... Well, where did I put my the socks in there? Yes, I did. Um, well, 
I have to say would be my gloves here. Actually, these, these are just the ones I'm going to wear for a while now. Because why the fuck not? I mean, considering that it's fingerless, I can use these for a lot of things. I don't have to have gloves on, which my only biggest problem I ever had with uh, gloves in general when they're not, they're not fingerless is the fact that if you try to do anything with them that is remotely um, needing some type of grip, it's really hard to pick up things like uh, anything that's glossy or uh, doesn't have a handle or something like that gets really hard to pick up with just normal gloves unless you got the gripped ones where they have like this uh, oh, rubber material on them. Otherwise, they're harder as fuck to pick up anything. Um, personally, I can use these for everything everyday use now, so if I, my hands get cold when I'm playing a game and it's cold in my room because of winter and I don't have a heater going or something like that, I will then have these to kind of warm up my hands and I can continue doing whatever I want. So these are good for like computer use because I don't feel like I'm restricted or anything like that from the glove fabric. Um, I can play card games. I can do anything I want. It just gives me that grip now. But other than that, than that these are just some really badass looking gloves. I don't I don't mind. I like these. These are probably my favorite item in this. Um, my second favorite item would be the shirt. My third favorite item would be this because everything else is just kind of very cheap. Um, I like the so socks because I can always use new socks. Don't get me wrong. Um, I don't need these though. They cost a fucking dollar. <laughs> I'm sorry. These things suck. Um... The magnet, I can always use a magnet, and then the poster just looks badass. I, I think they they made the right decision to go from uh, game manual design to poster design, which was the right choice. So, what do I give it? Well, considering that this week's been this month's uh, crates have been kind of on the low end, this is probably the best crate I've gotten out of all three of them, which is saying a lot considering the freaking uh, DX crate is usually the highest quality wise. So. I'm going to give this a 10. And here's why. Everything in here has its use. Even the band-aids. Um, and now there's your band-aids. Or you have a kid that frequently gets hurt sometimes, is very clumsy, gets cuts or something like that, or a scrape. Hey, you got band-aids for them, and it's Pac-Man. I mean, at least you got that. And if they're into games, hey, it's Pac-Man. Um, you have this, which is good for collectors. You have a nice shirt in there. Um, you got a magnet. It's it's overall a really good crate compared to what the anime one was to me. The anime one had some quality, but it, it just didn't wow me. It didn't feel like it was directed towards an audience of me. Um, then you have the horror crates. From what I hear, the normal one was meh. The DX one was kind of on that miss side to me. Um, Though I did like some of the stuff I got in it because it was pretty good. Um, overall, it just didn't wow me. It didn't stay stand out as very much great. And so this one, considering the gaming one is usually on the low end for most of the crates, there's only been a couple that have just been outstanding. This one is probably the best that's come out of it. And that's not just because of Overwatch in it. It's not because Reaper is my favorite character. Because literally, I said, this is like my third favorite item out of the box. The shirt is much better than this to me. Um, these gloves, I could use almost every day. So, um, yeah. This is a 10. This hit kind of everything it needed to hit. It hit the wow factor. It hit um, collectors. It hit uses. It, it hit um, just everything it needed to hit. That's what I expect these crits to do. Can I give you one of everything that you need have some uses that are cool looking, like the magnet. You can at least have it on your fridge or whatever metal piece you want to keep it on. You have that use. You have the socks, which you can use for every day. You have these gloves, which you can use for when it's colder outside. Um, you have this for collection. You have a shirt that is in really freaking great quality for a shirt. It doesn't feel loose. It doesn't feel thin. It doesn't feel like it's a piece of crap. You have band-aids because, well, band-aids. I mean, when do you not need them? I'm sorry, I'm just saying. Um, 
So yeah, it, it kind of hits everything that it needs to hit for everyday use and then collecting as well. Whereas if you looked at the anime one, everything felt like it was one-sided to collecting and or giving to a small child. Um, if you have the DX one, everything felt just display. They didn't have anything outside of the sweatshirt, which I should be wearing actually. Though I think about it, but it's not cold, <laughs> so that's why I haven't worn it yet. Um, so yeah, overall, the other crates are like this. This one hit the ten. So loot gaming for this month of October. Yeah, you won the month, which is very rare for you guys. So keep it up. I want to see this crate get as good as this one was. Plus. Stick with this. Stick with the uh, what loot anime does with the uh, posters. They're much better. I hate the fact that they're booklets. I hate the fact that they didn't do it for all your crates. Get posters. Be much better. So anyways, 10 out of 10 for this one month's loot gaming. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. That thing did not want to stay up. It just didn't. Nope. Nope. It was like, hell no. I want to go down. I will fix this. I will fix this right now. You. Now, can we stay here now, please? I appreciate you. Stay. Good. All right. As I was saying before, I was really interrupted by the box, because now I'm thinking about demoting it for doing that. <laughs> no, it's going to stay at 10. Um, if you Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video. Um, Please uh, comment, give me feedback. I prefer to ha try to make my videos better. If you don't want me with these sunglasses anymore, I will switch back to my normal glasses. I have no problem with that. In fact, I'd probably appreciate if you would say that. But otherwise, I think I'll leave them on. Just saying. <laughs> I think it looks make, makes it look better and everything for this. So, um, yep. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, see you next month when I get the next set of crates. Which, I don't know what they are themed yet. We'll find out. I will find out, and I think they're going to be group somewhat good. I know that the anime one's going to be good, at least, in terms of what I like. But we'll see. Anyways, see you all later. Happy Halloween! Don't forget to get those trick-or-treats if you're a kid, and if you're an adult, take your little brother or sister or your own kids out trick-or-treating. Don't want to be near those killer clowns that have been going around, you know. Those are bad. Stay with them. Protect them. Make sure you check their candy because some people are assholes. And you don't want them. Say. So stay safe and happy Halloween, everybody.